All right guys, so we just got back from getting some groceries. This morning I did 30 minutes of cardio, four 30 minute list sessions per week. I either do that outdoors or in the cardio room in my apartment building, depending on the weather. And so I'll just show you guys what we've got here real quick. I thought it wasn't like a full grocery haul. We basically got almond milk, kiwis, apples, oranges, banana. We got some shredded cheese that I like to put on my eggs in the morning. Diet pop, which helps me out a lot. So I got some diet ginger ale and some Diet 7-Up. Uh, some more of these things, so this is just water flavoring. I just find that helps me drink a little more water. These are actually pretty important for me when I'm cutting. Or whole grain pancake mix. So these are like super filling for breakfast. I've been having cottage cheese every night before bed. Uh, just because it's a slower digesting protein. Probably not mandatory, but also might help. So uh, it's worth it for me. And it's also cheaper than just buying uh, casein powder and more satiating than having a shake. Grocery haul looked like, again, just a small grocery haul. Usually we'd have like chicken and ground turkey um, and some more vegetables. So we always eat kale salads. And then this is the book that I'm reading during my cardio. If I do it indoors, uh, I'll read this. It's a good book. It's uh, basically about why we forget so much, or at least that's what it's been about so far. You guys, this is the finished product. maple sausage which is a new addition and then also I'm super excited to try this watermelon kool-aid stuff so I usually like fairly generous with that thank you Robin it's very aesthetic looking fruit bowl which I just track that as like uh, usually half a navel orange half a kiwi and like a quarter of an apple or whatever and I usually just copy that over day to day in my fitness pal because um, I don't worry about stuff that's relatively low calorie too much so like vegetables, um, even fruit, I'll just loosely track that. And when it comes to things like uh, egg whites, like I don't measure that stuff out to the gram. Uh, as long as it's within the right ballpark, then I'm good. And we also have two different types of ketchup. So this one is a Heinz, no sugar added. Macros are, I think, 10, 10 calories uh, per tablespoon. Then we also have this blue menu, President's Choice ketchup, a little bit better, five calories per tablespoon. Two years we've been using this one. This one is a new one that we've been trying, and as you can tell, I like this one better just because it's a little bit sweeter. So I don't go with that one anymore. I use this. Okay, so I just purchased this. Where is my, where's my music? All right guys, so for meal two, I'm having kale salad. This mix from Costco. So I'm gonna weigh out 85 grams, just because I wanna see, I usually don't weigh it, I just wanna see roughly what 85 grams looks like. So it's about three quarters of this bowl. That's usually about what I have anyway. And then I'll chop up 100 grams of chicken. I haven't been like measuring this out or anything, but this is gonna be the first time that I do it. Okay, so that's like 11, it's like 11 grams. So this is like dried cranberries, I think, and pumpkin seeds, so eight grams of that stuff. I don't know exactly what the serving size is, but I'm just gonna track it as is on the bag. And now I have some like benchmark. Every time that I have this, I'll just track it as is on the package and I'll use 11 grams of that stuff and 
eight grams of the seeds and berries. And add on top of that, one of these guys we just picked up today. Still only two fiber uh, in total for the day, still only seven fiber. Uh, so I think I'm gonna have an apple with that. And then that will give me an extra five grams of fiber. I'm gonna try to hit 35 grams today. I mean, digestive health is just so, so important when it comes to overall health. And then also I think it impacts on uh, fat loss and body composition to a greater degree than a lot of people acknowledge. So I think that fiber is really, really important for that reason. And for the fact that it does have a higher thermic effect than other carbohydrates. You basically burn more of the energy in the food itself as a result of digesting it. For only three fat, these are actually really good. We decided before the back workout today, we would hit one of my favorite training DVDs, Reloaded by Lane Norton. I remember watching this for my prep for Canadian Nationals back in 2012. Lane was actually my coach for that show. I'll put a pick up here of the uh, physique that I brought for that contest. Um, and I remember watching this video at least like a couple of times and it really motivated me to get through my prep. Oh, that's Valentine Azuga. Dude is a monster. It's the new rule, guys. You gotta track it before you eat it. Otherwise you forget. Some peanut butter on this new blueberry Canadian wild blueberry with flax and rolled oat. Grams. This gives me a measly three. Hold that. Measly three grams. Some of this strawberry and rhubarb jam. Mm. This is a pre-workout meal. Uh, it's 130 grams of extra, I'm gonna turn down this lean thing. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, it's 130 grams of lean ground turkey. I think there's something like eight grams of fat or something in that. Uh, and then it's just 45 grams of basmati rice. And this is lemonade. Five grams of creatine, six grams of <coughs> citrulline malate, it's a malate powder. And I'm gonna add some of this pre-workout. It's called pump draw. It's a little bit late at night, so I'm probably gonna take it easy on this, but 250 milligrams of caffeine in one scoop, two beta alanine, and huprazine A, which I'm a little bit sketchy about, but I'm just gonna have a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Shady. Aftermath. Oh, man. Sit now, ladies. from two plates and a 25. Today I'm gonna to be doing three plates. Uh, all reps 
six to eight reps. And then with the assistant stuff, I've been switching that up quite a bit. Those movements are not so focused on strict progression. But I'm not doing muscle confusion, guys. When I have a bro split, I just mean the split that I outlined in the last video. I'll link it right here. Um, 